What up y'all? Today we're gonna see how much energy these air conditioners use and if my power stations can power them. Today is gonna be a behind the camera video. I'm going to first see how much power these air conditioners use. This one says it uses a thousand watts. <laughs> This one might work on the EcoFlow, but I don't think it's going to work on the um, the EB70 because it basically, it, it dies after 800 watts. It's like, I'm done, fam. I know this one is a kind of small one. So it uses 600 watts. All right, we're going to do the heavy hitter first. Sorry about the echo. I'm in my garage. Okay, let's see. The temperature is on 60 on the dial, and I just switched it over to cool a minute ago. The compressor just kicked on. All right, I turned it down to low just to see if that would have any type of impact on the compressor and it doesn't seem to. It does have an energy saver mode, but I think I would have to be in a controlled environment for that because I'm pretty sure that has to do with the temperature in the room and not running constantly and stuff like that. But I'm gonna switch it over to it in a second. This thing is pretty much going all the way up to a thousand watts. So let's switch to uh, energy saver. It don't seem to be going down, that's for sure. All right, so at this point, it's safe to assume that this thing is gonna, it uses the amount of watts that it's rated at. The temperature was on 60, it was blowing cool air, and it climbed all the way up to pretty much a thousand watts which is what it's rated for. So it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, let's let's uh, uh, let's just jump right into seeing if the EcoFlow can power it. You know what I just remembered? This thing is not rated for 1200 watts. It's actually rated for 600 watts and it can surge up to 1200. So I'm not gonna even test it on this one. I mean, it makes no sense. It has the X boost feature, but that's not, that's not what it's hitting for. <laughs> you don't want to uh, run an air conditioner with all that equipment inside of there at a reduced voltage. That's just not smart, in my opinion, my uninformed speculative opinion. So this one I think is rated for 600 watts. And so let's uh, let's do that. That's a fairer test. <laughs> and then we'll put it on the EcoFlow, see if it got handle it. Oh, I also have to let you know that the EcoFlow, if you run it hard, you're not supposed to charge it. You're supposed to let it cool off for a good minute. I would say two hours or something like that. Um, we are losing sun, so that's not going to be a problem. Pretty much going to be done with this one for the day as far as like charging it. But let's get back to it. First, I said I would go get a chair, man. I was standing up that whole time. the compressor let's see if this one climbs up to like pretty much maxed out it's a rated capacity which is 600 some odd watts the temperature is on 67 put it on 60 just because the other one was on 60. Now as soon as I started pulling that temperature down the stuff started going up. I wonder if the amount of power the compressor has to kick out is uh, related to the temperature that you set it to. I can't imagine that to be the case because whether it's 60 or 67 it's still hot out here. <laughs> All right because this particular uh, device it records the high I'll just stop recording and bring you back guys back with the high rating on it. All right, so as you can see, this is getting up to 600 watts. That's what it's rated for, that's what it's doing. Now, this raises a very interesting question. I'm gonna raise that temperature back up to like 70 and see if this power usage goes down. Let's do 72. It is hotter than 72 out here, for sure. Nope, it is not, so. 
That does not matter. What kind of modes does this one have? It has economy. Let's see what economy does. Again, I feel like economy has more to do with, I think, turning the AC off versus keeping the fan on or, you know, it, it won't use less energy. I think it's just how it manages how it powers on and off or how it turns the compressor on and off. A little levity. I keep all sorts of things <laughs> from my past. This is from the T-Mobile Wing, which was Windows Mobile smartphone. I held on to this and it is perfect for doing that. How about that? All right, watt meter, little maybe three foot extension cable. I love extension cables, man. Extension cords, I should say. So I can uh, get some space in between my device and this. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It is set to 72. 77 watts. All right, so let's see what we have here. Eight, seven, it's holding on. Seven, <laughs> 804. <laughs> This is crazy. Is it gonna settle down or what? The power is all over the place as you can see. But the compressor's still running. It sounds a little interesting. Yeah, it's not worth it for me to keep doing this. All right. Oh, that fan is blaring. Now for my folks who are new to solar and maybe even new to electricity, this thing uses 600 watts. You saw it jumping all over the place. This is a 300 watt hour capacity battery. This could probably run this load for half hour, right? Right, okay. Let's get the EB70, big boy. So the reason why I bought the EB70 out here is because this thing is rated for 600 watts. This one is rated for 800 watts. So I wanna see if the power is gonna bounce all over the place like it did with this, or if it's gonna be like nice and smooth and clean like it did when it was on real power. If y'all watch my video about this EB7, you know the screen is ridiculous, so I'm not gonna bother with that too much. We're gonna basically watch the watt meter. All right, let's kick it on. If experience tells me anything, this is gonna take a good two minutes. <laughs> Oh wow, wait, 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 wait. What the heck just happened? <laughs> it turned off. My son was in here, so I wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure what happened is the spike went just probably like 801 <laughs> and it's dip shot off <laughs> because that's what it does. 800 watts, we're done. Wow, it kicked right back on though. So it didn't trip the overload. Let me pay attention this time. I mean, I was recording, so I could just go look back at the footage, but I want to be able to see it with my own eyes. Oh wait, let's see. I forgot this records the high. 700. No, 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 that's 70. So it didn't even register it, which is not uncommon with these things. They don't update as fast as electricity flows through the device. Oh, turned off again. Turn back on. So. <laughs> The EB70, let me turn this off. All right, so the EB70 cannot, for all of this LiPo goodness, it's two USB-C 100 watt ports, it's wireless charging on the top, it's 700 some odd capacity watt hours. It cannot run a small air conditioner unit. <sighs> yeah. So I think this video begs another video for me that compares the EB70 to the EcoFlow River because this is, this is kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. All right, y'all stay tuned for that. Ooh.